I've encountered a really strange uh, resaver bug when it comes to naming files. Uh, I think the data integrity is okay, um, but it's weird where it's getting the uh, file name from when you save something back. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so... Uh, basically, um, I've got a game save here, right? This is a game save. Um, you can see the character's name is Laura Martin, and you can take a look at the file name. The file name is also right here. It says Laura Martin. Now, basically, all I do when I parse uh, this game save out here, I just start parsing the data, and when I come across the player name, which is internal to the file, that is what I put here. And that is what I use to rename it here. That's what I, I use here. So it doesn't normally, because normally when you have a game save, it doesn't have all this information in the file name itself. So I open a game save when it's created. I parse the data out and go, okay, so it's for uh, Laura Martin, so that's what I'm going to name this file as. And it makes it a lot easier for me to locate files, uh, game saves, just by, you know, just by eyeballing it. Um, so let's go in and let's do a resaver thing here. So I'm going to launch resaver, which is basically going to load up that file. And you can see up here where it, it has loaded Laura Martin. Now I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to save it directly back. Save as would create a new save file uh, from the existing one. Here, I'm just going to save this directly back. So I do a save, and you notice, okay, so up at the top, see now it saved it. Up at the top, it says it's still Laura Martin. But once I click OK, Laura Martin now becomes Maggie Sinclair 65 Glowing C. That's what it. That's what Resaver has saved that game at, not, not as, but saved it back under that name. Remember, I didn't do save as. I just did save. So it should have replaced that file. So um, let's go ahead and close this, and let's go back over to here. Now, if I refresh the game save, you can see I got a new game save file. Um, it would be this one. All right. So let's highlight it. Whoops, not that one. This one. Here we go. Let's highlight it. So, Laura Martin came from inside the file because that's where I'm getting this piece of information from. But if you look at the name of the game save, it now has renamed it something else other than what it originally was. So, it didn't replace that save. So, if I if I open this up with X edit, I mean, not with hex edit, you can see that inside the file it is the Laura it's Laura Martin so the data is Laura Martin data and if you take a look at uh, the information here you'll see that it's Laura Martin right her level uh, let's hunt up level here is 32 that's correct but if you look at the name of the game save now remember I didn't rename this I did not rename this. Well, this is I. Uh, whenever I get a file that I have not renamed, it doesn't touch it. And I captured this at the point the file was created using something called System File Watcher. So the minute that file was created, this is what it shows. Now, if I would have renamed it, that would not have dynamically updated the title bar in Resaver because it would have been a totally different file name and Resaver is not going to change the current file to whatever I called it because it's going to be a different file name altogether. So Resaver changed its own... It, it Somehow it's doing this and I'm not sure exactly how or why. Okay, so now that you see that, um, I'm going to have to get rid of this game save because I've seen that... I noticed that once before in uh, one of the videos I did... I noticed that when I saved Laura Martin, it popped up as Maggie Sinclair, and I'm like, wait a minute, now that can't be, because um, I, I've edited and changed um, Laura's data, not Maggie's data. 
So when I thought, okay, so the game save file must be corrupted. But I noticed when I loaded it back up, it was Laura's data. It was Laura's data. So I'm like, well, that's weird. And I even went back and triple checked to see, okay, this this can't this doesn't make any sense. So this is something Resaver is doing. I don't know why it's doing that. And I'll show you, it's not just necessarily that's the next, like this is the next one in line. Well, I'll grab this one up here, right? So let's go ahead and let's resave this one. Notice up here it'll say, see, uh, Laura Martin. The minute I save this, remember it should replace the exact same file. So now that I've saved this, it actually has changed the title to whatever it saved that file to. Not the same file. It's not the same file. Because when I go back over here and do a refresh on it, it looks like I've got, see, this is the one we did up here. Notice the, you can see the screen shots here. This is the one we did. This is a new one. See, same screenshot as that. But when you go over here and take a look, it's got, again, Maggie Sinclair Glowing Sea. And what's weird about it, what's really, really weird, is if I go down here to, let's say, Sheila Adkins, let me edit one of these. Right? It is way down the list. Right? So if I do this and I save that back, watch what happens. It puts Maggie Sinclair, it puts the same one back up there. So it gives it the exact, it, it saves a file to a name other than what it's supposed to. And because I look at the internal file name, I'm going to find it probably somewhere up here. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, see right here. Sheila Atkins. See? Even though it's called Maggie Sinclair. So somehow it called it's 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 naming it something. I have no idea where it's getting that from. This is the internal file name to the data. That's the one I that's the one I I edited with Resaver, right? So you do you check it out, you you hex edit it, you can see it's Sheila Adkins data right there. Okay. Now if I go over here and, and, and double check it, I parse it out. It is Sheila Adkins and she is an 86. But it saved it back as a Maggie Sinclair 65 glowing C again. So I'm not sure exactly if there's a problem somewhere in the file naming part. I'm not sure how or why or where that is coming from. Uh, but just wanted to toss that up to see if anybody's seen that before, if anybody's noticed it. And to say I have no clue what is causing that. So uh, I'm going to close this out and uh, go back and do some things I was doing and... Uh, yeah, maybe somebody can shed some light on what's going on with that.